So today we are making a video on the AX OS Linux. So here is the boot menu of uh, AX OS. So let me quickly boot it in the live boot. So it's going to take like a two or three minutes to load up the desktop layout. So I'm running it on a virtual machine, which is a virtual box with 60 GB of hard disk, 8 GB of RAM, and my CPU is i5-1240P. So it's going to take a few seconds and before that I'm going to give you a disclaimer that uh, I'm going to keep the video as raw as possible. So there will be some mistakes and uh, misspeaking throughout the video so try to ignore all those things. Because I want to give you the best content so that's the reason I'm going to keep the video as raw as possible. So let's wait and uh, it should take like a 2 or 3 minutes because I tried it on the virtual machine which is a VMware. So it was uh, a bit of lag and uh, delay. So the desktop environment is a KDE Plasma which I choose. And there is also another desktop environment which is uh, awesome or something like that. I'm going to show you that uh, when it uh, boots up. So here is the KDE Plasma and uh, I'm going to wait until the desktop loads. So here is the desktop layout. It took just two minutes to load up the desktop. So let's first try to change the display settings. So there is no display settings here. So let's uh, try to find by going to system settings. I hope it works in the virtual box, but in the VMware it was like a frozen with a screen. So I can't move anything or uh, try to even change the display settings. So I don't see any display settings here. So here is the display and monitor and we can't see anything here we can change in the commands but i'm going to keep the video like this and i'm going to change the uh, i'm going to zoom out the video so you don't need to worry about it so about the system you get this uh, information which is axos and here is the website or the link for to download so the kde plasma version you get is a 6.0.3 KDE Frameworks version 6.0.0 Qt version 6.6.3 and the kernel version you get is a 6.8.4 and the graphics platform which is x11 and this is my hardware information so let me close it and uh, let's try to open the system monitor so basically you don't get uh, much of uh, applications here so most of them are from the KDE Plasma itself so there is nothing uh, new or anything here so it says as a about x ax os let's try to open it so i think it's going to open the it doesn't uh, open the system settings i thought it will be opening the system settings and the version uh, version i downloaded is uh, 24.03 so let me open the internet browser which is firefox Firefox in the virtual machine will be taking like a 20 seconds maximum to load up. So let's see how much of time it consumes in the AX OS. So it pretty much have some bugs I think because you don't have anything and it's taking a bit of time here. So let's try to make a video like that because we don't have any topic to make. So I randomly found this on the distro force not the distro uh, so not the source forge it was the distro watch sorry so that's the reason i mentioned in the beginning there will be some mistakes and uh, misspeaking throughout the video so here is the version i think the latest version should be 128 i guess so you get the 124.02 let's try to type in about support so here is the about support so you just need to type in about support to information. So let me try to pause the video and read everything. So here is some of the information. Just pause the video and uh, you can be read on your own. So all the information of the distro and the some important information, which is a window protocol X11. And the desktop environment is KDE Plasma. So here are some information. Just pause the video and read everything. So let me try to open the uh, website. So let's go to the about the system and let's try to open from there. 
let's click on the website link and here is the link let me close this because we don't need it so here is the official website and uh, you can directly type in this url to go to their official website and get the axos so i'm running it on a virtual machine which is virtual box so by default you don't get any display settings and anything like that you don't even get uh, much of the pre-installed applications you just get the applications from the kde plasma itself so i don't know whether to use I don't really recommend uh, this type of Linux distro because there are some other good Linux distros. If you are a normal user, go with the KDE Plasma desktop environment with the other type of uh, distros. Uh, if you love the KDE Plasma desktop environment, but if you go with the XFC, try to choose another Linux distros because I almost covered like a 3000 videos in my channel. Check any videos and you should be getting a lot of uh, Linux distros there try to uh, watch uh, whatever linux distro you want if you want lightweight there is lightweight linux distro middleweight heavyweight i covered almost everything from 25 mb of linux distros to almost 17 25 gb of uh, linux distros so you can watch anything or else you can just watch other channels to get the uh, best linux distros there is no uh, such thing to watch only my channel you can cha you can watch any videos from the youtube and you can try to uh, install the Linux distros on your own. So here is some of the information. You can just go to the website and uh, get all the information. So it says all those things, but uh, in the KDE Plasma version, you don't get any pre-installed application. But when you go with the uh, awesome edition, let me show you that. Click on download. You should be getting two desktop environments. So I thought the KDE Plasma will be good. And it, it even says as a more stable, more features more customizable more user friendly but it's clearly clearly the you can see you don't even have the icon for the about ax os so it's a missing icon here and uh, about the applications you pretty much don't get anything here no bluetooth or anything like that and uh, nothing is added from the ax os other than the about ax os so even you can try with the KDE Neon, you should be getting all the KDE Plasma desktop environment instead of this one. But when you go with the other edition, which is uh, awesome edition, you should be getting better design, more performance, more advanced and tiling window manager. This version is unstable. The version which you say is more stable is like this, which I already showed nothing, but it's stable pretty much, but you can't change the display settings. That's the problem. And about the awesome edition, it says it's unstable. So we can clearly say it's still in the work in progress, I think. But if you want to try to test it, you can try to test it in the virtual machines. Don't try to install this uh, type of Linux distro in main PC or work PC. If you already have the stable one, don't try to even try to install any type of other distros. You can try it in the live boot or the virtual machines, but uh, don't ruin your PC if you have a stable uh, Linux distro or the current operating system. So these are all the information you get from the official website. So here are some of the information if you want to go with, you can go with. So let me close the browser. Let's go with the installation. Let's see what we get in the installation. So the Calamaras installer will be installed. So let me let me open the Calamaras installer. It says authentication required. So it even said it's stable, and uh, here it is. About the Calamaras installer, you get the 3.3.5, and I forgot to use the virtual disk. I forgot to uh, give the virtual disk for the virtual machine so no problem you get the same calamaras installer so there is nothing complicated here if you don't know how to install the linux distro on your main disk or a virtual disk you need to watch tutorials because there will be some issues uh, it's not an issue because there is a bit of complicated when you choose the partitions because it's going to erase things if you don't know about the partitions and if you don't know how to install the linux distro you need to clearly watch uh, linux distro videos of uh, installing I already made a lot of videos like a 3000 videos but i don't really remember in which specific video i installed uh, the linux distro on the virtual disk or a hard disk so it's better to watch other channels or other videos in the youtube 
uh, which will be short because most of my videos will be 20 plus minutes because i'll be covering everything so that will be uh, lengthy so instead of that you can watch uh, videos on the youtube and uh, watch the tutorials like a short one you should be you shouldn't be getting bored uh, just watch like a four or five videos of uh, installing the linux distro and you should be good so i'm going to show you the basic things or say, i'm going to say the basic things here when you go with the locations you need to choose your location or you can just watch my previous video or today's video because i will be showing uh, installation process in every video so if you don't want to watch other video i'm going to explain right here so when you click on location you should be choosing your location there will be a map uh, you can point it on the map or you can choose the drop down menu for the location and keyboard you need to choose your keyboard it will automatically pick the default or the specific keyboard for you and when you go with the partition you should be seeing the erase disk and the manual partitioning so basically erase disk means it's going to erase everything which you whatever the hard disk you choose and uh, it's going to erase everything in that hard disk so if you choose the erase disk it's going to erase everything and it's going to install axos on that hard disk or the virtual disk or whatever you choose there in the uh, top menu you need to choose your specific hard disk or a virtual disk in this case i'm going to recommend you need to choose the virtual disk because it's not a well-known linux distro or you don't get anything from the axos there is nothing added from the axos you get the same kde neon uh, it's better to go with the kde neon if you want the kde plasma so there is nothing complicated or there is nothing new design here other than the app menu and the dock here so instead of that it's better to go with the kde neon uh, it's pretty much uh, almost comes with the kde plasma uh, latest uh, applications and all those things it's better go with that and let's get back to the partitions of uh, you should be seeing another option which is uh, manual partitioning in the partitions so manual partitioning or the manual option is like you need to create a partition before choosing the manual option so you should be getting the dual boot operating systems so the one will be the current operating system and the other the partition you created is for the axos so in the boot menu you should be getting two operating systems so you can choose the axos or the other current operating system so it's better to install in the virtual disk and if you want to try it you can try it in the live boot and after clicking on partitions you will be seeing the users you need to create the user account which is the username computer name and password after creating everything you should be seeing a summary of whatever you choose in the previous steps in the installation and it's going to take like a 20 25 minutes to install the uh, linux distro on the virtual disk so that's the installation process so let me close it so let me open the terminal or the console let's try to type in some commands so i already th said my thoughts also whether to use this linux distro or not but if you want uh, if you are a distro hopper if you tr still try want to try it you can try it in the virtual machines or else you can go with the live boot let me type in inxi so you need to install it on your own let's try the neofetch and it's based on arch linux so you can get all the information from the website so let me try neofetch here is the neofetch operating system axos and uh, virtual box is the host kernel version is 6.8.4 uptime is 14 minutes packages are 948 and resolution is 1280 into 800 plasma you are getting 6.0.3 i think the latest version should be like a 6.1.0 i guess so i don't really remember because i make a lot of videos daily so it's pretty much very hard but when you go with the uh, when you watch my previous videos you should be getting all the kd plasma latest versions and the latest kernel version is 6.10 i guess so here is some of the information if you want you can go with this let's try the head stop so a stop is uh, a stop will not execute and a completion has stop exists so let's check the version i think i already showed the version also so let's close the window and the desktop and wall so you get some wallpapers from the axos which is a single wallpaper so these are all the things you get 
there is nothing new added or anything uh, in the in this Linux distro. So you on the all the applications. So these are all the applications you get. So there is nothing even uh, anything to show here. So here is a Discover Software Center. If you want, you can install the applications from there. But AXOS is not configured for installing apps through desktop through Discover only app add-ons so it's clearly up to you to whether to use this linux distro or not so my point of view if you are a normal user it's better to stay out of this type of linux distros if you want to test it you can go with the kd neon so there will be added some new applications and there will be pre-installed applications if you want you can you uh, easily use this uh, kd neon linux distro so there is already another edition which is awesome edition but if you want to make me a if you want to watch that video i will make another video of the awesome edition so if you want do let me know in the comment section i will be making that video also but in the kd plasma edition so there is nothing so it's clearly up to you and judge it on your own i already said my uh, thoughts on that so these are all the folders which is pretty much same you can customize you can view by going to folders kernel so again everything is same so i already said everything and I almost showed everything so i'm going to end this video so i already said my thoughts so it's clearly up to you to choose it or not so it's work in progress still so i think i need to end the video here so already a uh, video is available in my channel which is uh, this one and the other one is uploaded in my channel so if you want to check that out you can check it out i'm going to end the video here thanks for watching peace out